Hello guys, so as you can see the floor is now finished. I had to reinforce this little bit here with the plastic pegs. I want to focus on a, a bit on the inner walls, uh, just in here. I want to cover all the styrofoam so it's not visible. I want to finish it with the white foam board guys. What are we gonna do? Let me just move it so you can see what I'm doing here. This surface is gonna be the one that we will add a stone shape onto the whole thing. So it's kind of matching the, the whole idea. Next step would be to add the stone shape onto the bit and um, a bit of texture. I will carry on with whole inner wall. So I got all the pieces ready guys. As you can see, that's how it looks like. So what I've done, I've added the stone shape onto the whiteboard pieces. Um, that's the main one above the main gate. <clears throat> now I will attach them to the inner wall uh, by using this glue guys because it's kinda gonna start filling the gaps straight away even without using the, the acrylic filler unwanted excess we're gonna have to remove with the spatula just like you can see fills the gap straight away you don't want to push it too hard against the styrofoam so that the glue works as a filler will stay there and as you can see I've already started filling the gaps between the whiteboard and the, and the styrofoam using the glue then on to the next one That's it. Okay guys, as the inner wall is finished, partially, I want to focus on the, on the front of the castle. So front walls and front uh, reinforcements. I got some spur bits and pieces of, of the white foam board, which I will use to obviously create the front of the whole structure. Uh, the principle is the same. As with the inner wall guys, um, we'll draw the line at the back, uh, cut it to the size and obviously uh, I got a postman at the door. Yeah. So I will touch it to the, to the wall, I will draw the line using a pencil at the back, uh, then I will cut the piece to the size. So, as you can see, it matches perfectly. I left this gap on a purpose in this corner so that when I use another piece of foam, it will actually go in there and hold the whole thing while the glue is drying and bonding. So, uh, I'll pack on with the, with the rest of the pieces, guys. This is the middle piece of the front. <clears throat> you want to start drawing the, the pattern from the middle so that threads across evenly. So that later on when you look at the castle from the front, you kind of get the pattern starting at the front in, a, in the center, in the middle, and it's spreading across throughout evenly. This way it will look and build properly. If you, let's say, start drawing the pattern from 
one of the sides you probably end up on the opposite side with uh, different shape or different pattern and, and it kind of looks uh, awkward so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start from the middle top or the bottom layer it doesn't really matter that's your base shape <clears throat> starting in the middle obviously spreading across evenly amazing absolutely brilliant you got shape of the stone obviously later on we're gonna add some uh, damages and some structure just to the outer bit <laughs> 